Hey, what's up, you guys? Woody Jacob here, bringing you another video today talking about my thoughts on the Suicide Squad trailer that was released by Warner Brothers. And uh, you guys know uh, about the situation there. Upset that the trailer had originally gotten leaked out by a fan who was in attendance at Comic Con. And pretty much now he said, uh, well, if it's out there, you may as well just release it in high quality, right? But, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to get into that too much more, though. But. I really did love the trailer. Uh, I'm almost as exci excited for this movie as I am for Batman v Superman. Almost. Not quite as much. It's not quite on that same level of epicness. But I really do like how this movie is looking to turn out. Um, as far as Jared Leto, Leto, I forgot how to pronounce it. Again, I, I'm not great with names, I guess. But uh, we'll talk about him in a minute. But it looks like uh, Will Smith as Deadshot is going to be getting some... Uh, a good majority of the concentration in this movie, which I don't have a huge issue with. Uh, I like Will Smith quite a bit as an actor, and I think uh, he'll do well with the Deadshot role as a mercenary assassin type. And uh, someone else I'm really looking forward to seeing in the movie is uh, Margot Robbie as uh, you know Harley Quinn, of course. I just love her look. They say it's not like the comics, but it is. She's looked like this in the comics before, and she kind of looks like this in some of the Arkham games, too. And so I really like her look too, and I, as far as I can tell, it looks like she's really embodying the personality of Harley Quinn. It looks like she's really just becoming one with it, and I absolutely love how she looks in the role. You know, and I uh, love how she's acting, I love the personality she's giving. It really feels like a real, true live-action Harley Quinn, which I'm very excited to see. And, uh... You know, as far as, uh, you know, the setup for it is, you know, Amanda Waller wants all these criminals locked up, you know, as part of a team to, you know, do things for the government. And, you know, if something goes wrong, they can say, oh, yeah, we, you know, it's, they're bad guys, so of course that happened. So basically, they're going to use them as an escape go when things go wrong. <laughs> but, yeah, we know Amanda Waller. She's a pretty annoying person. So I'm looking forward to her failing in the movie. That should be fun. And, of course, we get to see the Joker at the end of the trailer. And uh, Jared Leto, uh, honestly, he looks very good in the role. Um, I'm not going to say he's better than Heath Ledger yet, but we'll probably talk about that more when the movie is actually released. Um, but I do think uh, he'll do a very good version himself at the very least. Uh, I think You know, people are complaining about the tattoos, but I honestly don't think they're that big of a deal anymore. I don't really have much of an issue with them. It kind of makes sense if he's been through all those prisons, I guess. And it really looks like he's embodying that uh, serious, but still, like, uh, crazy, like fun persona that the Joker is. It looks like it'll be a pretty good mix of it. And, uh... Yeah, I think he'll work as the lead for the movie. And we also see uh, Batman is obviously going to make some kind of appearance in it, which we knew, kind of knew beforehand. Um, you know, Ben Affleck, of course. You know, it looks like he'll either be the one that puts him in there in the beginning, or he'll be the one that puts him down in the end. I don't know. But, uh... We'll see him riding on top of the car and stuff. We also see Killer Croc who looks okay. Uh, he kind of reminds me of the animated series Killer Croc, which is fine. He should be handled pretty well in the movie, I think, you know, at least decently. And, uh, yeah, the action looks good. It looks like it'll be a pretty fun ride, and I'm just looking forward to it. The movie's going to be released on uh, August 5th, 2016, so after Batman v Superman. And so, yeah, it should be pretty good. I'm wanting to see both of them in theaters. Um, I'm actually looking for Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn almost as much as this new version of the Joker. Very excited to see her like that. Like I said, I have full confidence with her at least. Uh, I am pretty optimistic about uh, Leto as Joker, but you know I'm still, of course, gonna wait and see. So uh, yeah, there's really my thoughts on the Suicide Squad trailer. Not much more to say about it really right now. Um, if you guys want to leave a comment below telling me what you thought or something else you want me to give my thoughts on the video that I didn't. And I feel free to leave a comment below. I'd love to discuss with you guys. I forgot to save my usual line at the end of the Batman v Superman thoughts video. So there's that. But uh, yeah, so catch you guys next time. And uh, peace.